Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here's Google Apps updates roundup number 63 and this episode is very exciting because it includes tons of new changes in Google Apps so without further ado let's jump in. And the first app we have today is Gboard. On the left I have the newer version while the older version is on the right. The first thing you will notice here is the redesigned suggestions strip. The first change here is the arrow that expands and collapses the options also in addition to the ellipsis button has been replaced only with one button on the left that gives you everything all together in one page the second difference is the ability to reorder everything so for example here i cannot reorder the shortcuts and also i cannot reorder it over here but now in the newer version you can reorder all the options as you see here and also i can reorder it over here you will also notice that we have two new shortcuts. Now you can add the emojis or the languages switcher to your suggestions strip. So for example, if I want to change the language from the suggestions strip, I can do this. And what's new as well is the ability to remove the microphone button. So as you see here, I can remove it and put it back in if I want. But this is something forced in the older version. Not to mention that the shortcuts in the suggestions strip are now surrounded with a rectangular fill instead of nothing like before, same as all the options at the bottom instead of using circles. And when you try to edit your clipboard, you will notice here new circular fill around the buttons, which wasn't the case before, and you will also see the same behavior in other menus. And when you go to the emojis screen, you will see the selected items at the bottom are no longer surrounded with a perfect circle like before, but it has a slightly oval shape in the newer version now let's go to settings to show you even more differences now when you go to preferences and scroll all the way down you will see the show app icon toggle but in the older version that was located under advanced the advanced menu of the older version has been removed altogether and now we have a new one called privacy and when you go inside you will see pretty much the same options but there are some naming changes like for example personalize for you instead of personalize and also here improve voice and typing for everyone here it's called improve for everyone only so it's a slightly cleaner in the newer version and also the audio donations option has been added to the privacy menu in the new version instead of being under the voice typing like before last but not least there are 21 new emojis that are part of the unicode 15.0 added to gboard and you can see them over here so for example some of these examples are the shaking face you have also the pink heart and there are some animals too like the donkey the goose and you will see the full list here on the left side if you want to take a look at it but keep in mind to be able to see these new emojis you should be running android 13 qpr2 or android 14 like in my case here app number two is google messages and now when you try to share a file or a photo by tapping on this button you will see a different page first we no longer have the horizontal scrolling like before but instead you can now scroll vertically also the gallery option that used to take you to your photos is now replaced with a folders button that takes you to the files app and also when you scro scroll down you will get two new floating buttons here at the bottom right corner one that will take you back to the camera and the other one will take you to the folders but previously we used to have only the camera option as a floating shortcut and when you go to the side menu you will see a new icon for the mark all as red option under settings the swipe actions menu now will show you the selected options without the need to go inside the menu and finally the chat features option has been renamed to rcs chats and when you go inside you will see everything now shows the word rcs in the sub menus in addition to the chat itself so when you open any chat you will see rcs message here at the bottom and also in the banners and now it's time for today's sponsor if you are interested to purchase original windows 10 and office keys head over to cdkeyoffer.com using the links in the description below then apply my special promo code id20 to get extra 25 percent discount windows 10 oem key will cost you 16.23 dollars which is very affordable to complete your purchase choose your preferred payment method input the details and once the payment is done, you will be redirected to the orders screen. To view your code, click on the view keys slash codes button, then click on get the key. To activate your Windows 10 OEM key, copy the code from the website, head over to your Windows settings, then system, scroll all the way down and click on about, then product key and activation, 
and finally click on a change. Paste the code in the text field and click on next, then activate, and now your original Windows key got activated. For more offers, please check the links in the description below. And now let's get back to the review. Next, Google Chrome. And now when you go to settings and then password manager and add a new one or modify a current one, you will see a new text box here called note where you can add something to help you remember the password. Change number two is the redesigned use save the password pop-up. As you see, it now looks a little bit more refined. Next, YouTube music. And the first change, when you scroll down in your home feed, you will see a new option here called Create a Radio, your music tuner. And this new feature will allow you to select certain artists and then YouTube Music will keep recommending new songs for you. So when you tap on the plus sign, it will first show you the list so you can select whatever you want, then tap on next. And here you can do some modifications like the artist variety. You can choose between low, medium and high. Then you have the song selection. If you want to discover only new songs, you want a blend between the old and the new songs and also the familiar ones only. After that, you have some filters for the type of music. So for example, when you choose deep cuts and then upbeat and then tap on done the radio will be created. And if you want to save this radio in your library, you can simply tap the ellipses and then add playlist to library. And you will also notice here in the description, it says endless music customized for you, always updating. So every time you open the list, you will see new songs based on your selections. Later on, if you changed your mind and you want to modify anything, you will see a tune button over here. Tapping on it will allow you to go through the same wizard I just showed you. And if you want to access your radio later, simply go to library and you will see it over here. Next, Google app. And the first change is the redesigned profile menu that we first saw in Google Messages is now part of the Google app. Also the bar at the bottom now supports material U, but it uses always the default blue color. It doesn't change with the colors you choose. Change number three is under settings. Now the page supports material U. And for reference, here is the old design. As you see, it looks different. Also, the search bar at the top is now showing instead of pressing the button first. And when you go inside the menus, you will see the new toggles of Material U as well. And lastly, under Google Assistant settings, when you scroll all the way down, there is a new option here called Your Speech Recognition. When you go inside, you have a toggle that will allow you to save your Google Assistant corrections and audio recordings on this device to help Assistant get better at recognizing what you say. You can delete this data anytime by turning off the personalized speech recognition. So when you turn off the toggle, it will tell you that the data will be deleted. Another thing related to Google app is the dark theme support in the weather. So for example, when I go to the weather app, as you see, I have dark theme enabled and the search bar at the top matches this. And when I scroll down, all the information as well will be shown on a dark background. But if you're gonna compare this to the previous version, of the weather app as you see everything is in light theme even though the phone is in dark theme next the find my device app as you see it got a complete redesign with material use support the first thing you will see is the full list of devices you have and at the very top is your current device and you will see a small gap between your current device and the other ones when you tap on any of them it will then show you the map with the redesigned options here at the bottom also this new version will allow you to know the last location of your device, even if it's offline. So as you see here, it says last seen connected to this device at 10.28 a.m. on Feb 14th, and then it shows the location. Next, Google Maps. And it got a couple of updates for Wear OS 3.0. The first one is the phoneless navigation. So if you have a LTE version of the watch, you will be able to start navigation right away on it. And the second new feature is the uh, updated screen for the directions. So for example, I will start navigating here on the watch. And as you see, I'm no longer getting the map as a first option, but instead I'm getting the list of directions. Okay, and when you scroll all the way down, you have some options over here as well. And if you want to show the map view, you can tap on this map button and that's when it will show you the map. And if you want to switch back to the list view, you can tap on this button one more time. Not only this, but now when you go to the always on display, you will be able to see the current uh, direction here on the watch and instead of just seeing the clock. And you can also have the same thing on the always on display if you have the map view. 
Google Maps on Android also got some tweaks. The first one is the blur effect. When you view a photo that doesn't fill the entire screen, as you see, there is a blur effect here at the top and the bottom. Also, the uh, name of the person and the time has been moved towards the bottom with a button here that will allow you to like the photo with the count of likes over here as well. And on the top right and left, you will see the flag and the close buttons. One more thing I started to notice while navigating is the new green leaf next to the time. And this will give you an indication that you are using the most efficient route. Now let me show you some random tweaks here and there. First, there are two new icons for the arts and culture app and also Google Play games. The phone app on Pixel devices now shows a chip at the top left corner if you have a call ongoing. And this feature keeps coming and going, but now I have it on my Pixel 7 Pro. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new features I wanted to show you in Google apps please let me know in the comments if you spotted any new feature so i will include in my future episodes but for now thanks so much for watching and see you the next video